All right, welcome back to Mildly Interesting. I hope you're having a delightful, mundane day. It's about to continue to be extremely mundane as we start off with number 19 with our soap pump fell and cracked, but it didn't break. The soap clogs the cracks. I think you might still just want to get a new soap dispenser because eventually that probably will stop working. Or if it's a hot day, the soap will expand maybe and actually start going through the, the cracks. And then if you grab it, it'll also be kind of gross. But still, it's it's definitely mildly interesting. I've had some soap dispensers in my house, though, that are sitting next to the window on a hot day. That'll actually, I'll look in the sink and there will be a bunch of soap in the sink and it's dripping out of the nozzle of the thing. Like it expands so much that it forces itself out. Maybe that would be a mildly interesting post. Although it's so easily faked that... Yeah, probably people would be like, you just, you just pumped soap out of your dispenser. I'll be like, I swear to God, I didn't. I could take a video. I could do it that way. This red and black spider I saw. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. I wonder if those are supposed to be false eyes to confuse a predator. But what predator would go after that spider and be like, you know what? I'm only going to take the back half. It's, uh, it's pretty large. You know, can't do this in one bite. <laughs> I got I'll tear off the back half and then oh man my defense worked perfectly I only lost half of my body but fortunately it was the half that didn't have my brain in it now I'm just not doing very well because I don't have half my body so I feel like it wouldn't work but hey what do I know yeah maybe it works really well I've never been a spider so I can't possibly tell you this Karl Marx zero euro bill I don't know enough to be aware of if this is a real thing. I'm assuming it's not a real thing. Did you just get handed that from, I like, or is it actually, it's some kind of anniversary of 1818 to 2018, like a 200 year thing? Souvenir. Or maybe the mint actually made it, I have no idea. Being that I'm from the United States, I have no idea the context of this, so it might be mildly interesting. I hope that you weren't to actually do change and you were given this instead. You're like, all right, cool. I was supposed to get 10 bucks, but this is zero. Thanks for that. Really appreciate it. My grandmother has a flower drawer in her kitchen. That seems mildly messy. Um, but I suppose if you're cooking on a pretty regular basis, then it would help to consolidate all of your flour in a very large, easy to access place where you can also just accidentally whack your shin against it when you're walking around trying to do your cooking. And also, a flour is so messy that ha it seems like you'd want that to be a top drawer at the very least, because otherwise you're picking that thing up and if you're old and you have shaky hands, you're like, you've got it from the very bottom of the floor. You got to bend over, your back's hurting, you're shaking on the way up as you're trying to bring it to where it needs to be. And it's scattering flour all over the ground. It's going to make a mess. And then you got to vacuum that up afterwards, which you also got to bend over for. And then you finally make it there. Although I don't know, your grandma might be an extremely robust woman who has no shaking or back issues whatsoever. Just seems like it'd be more convenient to put it near the top. That's all I'm saying. My teacher killed an ant. Your teacher was killed in an ant? Is your teacher Ant-Man? My teacher killed an ant in the copier. Now it's on all of the papers. It's like those people who make their avatar on YouTube, like that little, little hair. So it looks like you have a hair across your screen. People who do that, you know who you are. And you go to wipe off your, and you're, oh, wait a minute. Nope, that's, that's in their avatar. It gets me some of the time. It gets me every time some of the time. And then in this case, I'd be like, oh God, is there a, nope, it's just printed on it. Thanks, thanks for that, appreciate it. My local ice cream shop puts a mini marshmallow in the bottom of their waffle cones to prevent leakage. Now this, this I like. That almost just looks like ice cream, but I'll take your word for it that it's a marshmallow. That's clever, very, very clever, an edible seal. It's like an O-ring, but you can eat it, so it's even better. One of the reasons why I never get cones, not just because it drips out of the bottom, but because it drips over the sides. I'm just not about that mess. I don't like having sticky hands. It's one of those things I'm not a fan of, so I just don't ever get cones. Spoon out of a, I mean, I never take the ice cream out of the actual pint container when I'm having it at home. I just eat it directly out of there. 
But one of the benefits of living alone is like, why, why would you ever bother? Even though I usually eat it in one sitting. So I'm not proud, but it's convenient. This calculator has numbers all the way through, so they won't rub off. Ah. Uh, why, why did you feel inclined to chop off the buttons on your calculator, though, is my question. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. I also, I wonder if that's the reason behind it, or if that's just the manufacturing process, is they have basically very, very long tubes with the number, the, the characters embedded into them, and then the machine just basically chops them off. Seems like it would actually be kind of an efficient way to manufacture, rather than having to do individual buttons. You basically just chop off, and then it polishes it into the shape that it needs, so it looks all nice. Yeah, it's like they make these like you would a sushi roll, right? A sushi roll, they don't make every piece individually. They roll the whole thing, and the bamboo whatever thing, and then they chop it up. Probably do the same thing for these, but still, were you just like, I wonder if uh, it's painted on the surface or not. Let me just chop my buttons in half while they're still on the calculator. I'm, I want to know the context for this. It's very confusing to me. This five-leaf clover I picked grew roots instead of dying after a few days like usual. Wow. That's kind of fascinating, I'm not going to lie. Okay. That's cool. I thought you were initially, like, in reading the title, are you like me, where any plant that you ever get into your house, unless it's a succulent, ends up dying? Because I relate to you in that capacity. Everything I ever try to keep alive that isn't a succulent ends up dead, so, um... But you, my friend, really have a green thumb, I'll tell you. Everything, eh, all parameters kept the same, except it was me instead of you. That thing would be very dead, so congratulations. My cousin has a snake with Obama in its scales. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. <laughs> what are the odds of that? All right, cue political comments, even though it's a damn snake with scales on it somehow. Oh boy, you know what? I'll allow it. I do try to skip over political posts, but I'll allow this one because I don't think that the snake is inherently trying to voice its political opinions. Or maybe it is. You never know. Maybe the snake has opinions on, on policy. This Thai restaurant is a no-tipping restaurant. Blank is proud to be a no-tipping restaurant. No tipping is required, expected, or allowed. Our employees receive better than minimum wage and benefits. Your patronage and support is what helps them. I'll have fair and equitable pay. Thank you. Is this really enough to be top on Mildly Interesting? Because I've gone to several restaurants that are no-tipping restaurants here in LA. And also, there is an international audience here on Reddit and a great deal of other countries in the world don't have tipping as like a standard custom that you do there. So I feel like the comments on this are gonna be people from Europe like, cool, congratulations for you finding this. Uh, okay, yep, sure, all right. I mean, this does, it does exist and I do support it. If, if they hadn't blacked out the name of the restaurant, I would have thought it was an advertisement. So at least you got that going for you. This fly swatter that gives the fly a fighting chance. This has a chance to be far more mildly infuriating than it does to be mildly interesting. Because I don't think you would ever realize that you actually got the fly through that right there. Because it's unless you had a slow motion camera, it would just be like, well, I swung at the fly, I swore I hit it, but it's still alive. But you wouldn't know that it went through there, you just think you missed the fly. When in reality, you should have had it, but stupid product design spared it. And you're like, it's damn hard enough to swat the fly. You don't have to give the fly more chances. I'm just mad at this one now. No point. Why are you doing this? You don't need to do this. That's completely unnecessary. <sighs> Someone braided this bush to get it out of the way for kids using the slide. I'll be completely honest with you. Sa the title makes it sound like something else if you if you hear the phrase braided bush you probably don't immediately think of you know because braiding hair you don't think of plants anyway you know what i mean but 
I suppose, yes, that's mildly interesting. Alternatively, you could just cut it. What do you mean you don't want kids sliding down the slide and just getting whacked in the face clotheslined by a plant? Teach them a lesson to look where they're going. This Tabasco tray on our pizza. That's one way to actually make use of the, the thing there, the box proper upper. I didn't actually know what that thing was for the longest time until I asked someone and I was like, how did I not realize that before? It was probably when I was a teenager and I'd gone through my entire childhood being like, it's already in the box, why do they need to put that thing in order to keep the slices together? Oh, it stops it from getting crushed. I get it now, but you can definitely multitask with it for sure. That's pretty cool. I've never put Tabasco on my pizza before. A pizza sounds really good right about now. I'm about to, my mouth is gonna start watering. My girlfriend found an old ticket stub of hers to the top of the World Trade Center dated 8 1101. Now, for those of you in other countries, that is August 11th and not November 8th. Just, just to clarify things. So it's exactly one month uh, prior to 9 11. Jeez. I guess, yeah, that is mildly interesting slightly morbid and yeah my dad was actually in new york when that happened um so that was yeah that was the thing it was not in in the building but yep my raincoat reveals a floral pattern when wet that's that's pretty cool actually huh you want to get your sleeves wet on purpose when you wash them at the uh at a, in a public restroom or a restaurant restroom story of my damn life Trying to wash my hands when I have long sleeves, and it only ever happens in a public restroom because otherwise I'm never wearing long sleeves or anything like that unless I'm out somewhere. The worst. The intensity of this rainbow refracted through my aquarium. It's pretty vibrant. I mean, it also is very possible to Photoshop a thing like that. I'm not accusing anyone of going on the internet and telling lies here, but it is possible to do just an overlay and layer in Photoshop and, and make that happen. But no, I'll believe it. For the sake of argument, that is a very, very vibrant rainbow, like extremely. And it's too bad it probably disappeared by the time you went and tried to grab someone to look at it, because that's what always happens to me. Hey, look at this cool thing that's really temporary. Come come here. It, nope, okay, it's gone. I swear I'm not crazy. It's like the funny video showing it to a friend thing. Same exact phenomenon. And the top of the last month. Instead of a Bible, my hotel room in Philadelphia has the Constitution and Declaration of Independence. The Constitution of the United States of America, the Declaration of Independence. I don't remember them looking like that. I remember them being, you know, long scrolls of parchment, but you know, that's cool. I, I know that those are the originals and, and stuff. I'm, I'm aware. I'm just saying. You know, I didn't even realize that it was a common thing for hotel rooms to have Bibles tucked in a drawer until I saw it posted somewhere in a movie or something like that. So that's mildly interesting, is that I, I had never even looked in a drawer ever before. Because the idea of using built-in storage in a hotel room just kind of weird to me. I've only ever used a, a hanger to hang up a jacket or something like that, but otherwise it's kind of, things just stay in my suitcase. Do people really unpack stuff and use drawers in a hotel? I guess I could understand if you're there for a long time, maybe putting clothing away, but like using the drawers in your nightstand, does anyone actually do that? Because that'd be the only reason to open it up. I don't know. Anyway, my question to you. So that's all. Hopefully you have kind of found this sort of interesting. Make sure to like if you found it mundane. Subscribe if you're not already, and if you want to listen to uh, music in the background, links in the outro over on Mary Music. There's also a playlist of these videos. If you want more, I'll see you next time.